what is good we're back with the franchise and today we have a important divisional matchup with the jacksonville jaguars and it's at home we're both sitting at two and three i think the colts and the titans are all two and three as well we're going to go ahead and look at the jaguars roster which is uh, highlighted by their defense. I mean, they do have Byron Leftwich and Fred Taylor and Maurice Jones Drew. It was Drew Jones because that was when he initially changed his name before he put the Jones first. So I guess I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know all the legal thing on that. So got the Jaguars here and they're known for their defense. That's Jack Del Rio's specialty. He's now the defensive coordinator for Washington now in real life. So yeah, he prided himself on his defense. They got Strode and Henderson. Mike Peterson, that middle linebacker. And I think Rasheen Mathis is on this team. Yep, they got Brian Williams, too. And Deion Grant is their free safety. I know that, and they still have Donovan Darius playing strong safety, even though he's starting to get up there in age. So, yeah, this team prides themselves on their defense. They don't have very good receivers. And personally, that was my personal take. I don't think Byron Leftwich was a bust. I just think Byron Leftwich didn't live up to the hype because he had horrible receivers. I mean, what quarterback can do good with these clown receivers that the Jaguars had None, that never lived up to their hype like Matt Jones never lived up to his hype right there never lived up to his hype we knocked that away suck it down and 10 draw play to Fred Taylor and this is the guy I'm most worried about is Fred Taylor I'm not worried about Leftwich because his receivers aren't very good well, right there Reggie Williams cooks our nickel back so yeah first down Jacksonville hand off to Fred Taylor he's getting skinny he's gonna be brought down suck it down to six coming up Leftwich drops back taking a shot deep and that's caught by Ernest Wilford, who's going to drag one of our DBs all the way down to the one-yard line. First and goal, they send Mercedes Lewis in motion. And it works out because Fred Taylor's in the end zone now. And he's high-fiving Greg Jones. So Cottom's going to return the kickoff, and he's going to get a solid return. First down and 10 coming up. Stretch play to West. He's trying to bounce it outside. And West probably isn't going to have the best game because the Jaguars' defense, man, this defensive line is fierce. Jack Del Rio, man, like I said, he has great defenses. He always had great defenses when he was the coach in Jacksonville. I will give him that. So here we run a counter play to West. Can't even block Mike Peterson. So, yeah, that's not going to work. Play action now and suck it down. Allen in trouble. Floats it up there. It's caught by me. And that's going to be a first down. So now we're looking play action. And once again, find me wide open in the flats. That's another first down. That's what's up. I'll take it. First down, we run a counter to West. That's not going to work. Second down and 12 coming up. Allen drops back. Flushed out to his left. Even though he had people open on the right, he's going to take off and get us all gain. I can't be mad at that. Third down and four now. Looking for West out of the back, but he's wide open. Lowers his shoulder. Mathis can't bring him down initially at the point of contact. So West is able to fall forward and extend the ball for the first down. Now second down, West. He's running hard. Can he cross the goal line? I thought he was close, but they're going to say he was just short. Third and goal. We try to give it to him. He gets stuffed by Mike Peterson. So we have to settle for a field goal. Kick is up and good. So we're down 7-3. to three. Leftwich hands it off to Fred Taylor. He's going to juke and then drag one of our linebackers for another few yards. Second down and two. Leftwich drops back. Looking to throw. Shrugs the guy off. And then he gets crushed by Agi. Oh, my goodness. Third down now. Leftwich looking. He's going to find Kyle Brady. And that's going to be fourth down. Kyle Brady's going to be short of the first down marker. First down now. Allen looking. Paulie's wide open in the flats. He tries to turn up field. And the shoestring tackle got him before he could get some more yards after the catch. Second down, we run a counter play to West, and he's going to be stuffed again. We are just not having success with the run game, so we're probably going to have to beat these guys throwing. And then right there, I can't hold on to the pass. I'm disappointed in my video game self with that play. I really am. Yeah, shame on me. I'm disappointed in myself. Right here, left, which is going to find Matt Jones. Lee's going to make the tackle right away. Second and four. Left, which looking to throw. Hit by Denofrio as he's throwing that. It's going to be incomplete. Third and four play action left, which looking short. He was looking for Kyle Brady. That's incomplete. So we get the ball back as the Jaguars punt. First down, Allen rolling to his left. Looking for me deep. And that's going to be incomplete overthrow. Second down and 10. Hand off as the West tries to bounce it. Man, we went a four receiver set. They still got us for a loss of yards. That's terrible. Third down now, Allen, he's going to float that out there for me. I bring it in, out across the 40, and I'm going to be hit pretty hard. I don't know who that was that hit me, but hey, good hit. First down, Paulie's wide open. We see him too late because the Jaguars' DB is able to recover and knock that away. Second down now, Allen looking to throw, rolling to his right. He's got West. He's going to float it over to him. West turns upfield. He's got the first down. 
So now trying to set up the fullback screen. I've been waiting to run this one. I'm excited for it. And then I get the ball turned upfield, and I'm going to be brought down by the first guy that hits me. Wish we could have broken that tackle, but it is what it is. We'll work on it. Second down, looking for Coombs. Coombs goes up and makes the catch first down for the Huskies. Now we run a counter play to West. Stuffed again, and it's not his fault. It's just the our offensive line, no offense to them. They're just not good enough for this defensive line. I mean, these guys are amazing. This Jaguars defensive line, I mean, I'm not trying to hype them up and gas them up so much, but they're good. I mean, what else do you want me to say? And then Allen's going to come up just short when, with the dive. So fourth down, we put the fullback in the backfield, which is me. And, yeah, we got that first down pretty easy. There we go. We want a big guy, so that way when he got hit, he fell forward. Looking for me in the end zone over my head out of bounds. Second down and 10 coming up. Handoff is the West. Tries to get up field with the spin move, and he's going to be brought down by either Strode or Henderson, one of the two. Third down now. Allen rolling to his left. Looking. He sees a lane. He's taking off. He dives. Touchdown. Huskies and we take the lead 10 to 7. Left which on first down looking to throw. He's gonna dump it, curl route to Matt Jones. Matt Jones gets out across the 40. Jaguars take a timeout. Left which looking to throw once again. Looking. Jones brings it in. Matt Jones turns up field the 40, the 30. Broad's gonna jump on him and bring him down. First down after that. Byron left which looking left side. Looking into the flats. That's picked off by Cottom. And Cottom, he's going down the sideline. And he gets a great return. He's down around the 20, man. He was pretty fast, pretty especially very quick. He used to be a beast in flag football back in the day. I'm telling you, I'm shouting him out. Cottom was a beast in flag football. Like, he, his agility was crazy. Straight line speed, not necessarily as much when we got older, but he was a beast in flag football right here. We found Davis. Now we find me. No one picks me up in the flat route. So easy touchdown right there. And I think we're going up to the half, 17 to seven and then Maurice Jones drew just torches this kick return team or kickoff team and he scores as time expires in the half luckily we get the ball to start the second half but we're it doesn't we're back to square one like what we were initially looking at we're up three right there looking for Davis we miss him second down and 10 play action Allen he's under pressure flush to his left he's gonna throw that up there for West and West he read it perfectly. Great awareness, and he's down around the 35-yard line and some more. That's what's up right there. First down, Allen looking to throw. Looking for Coombs. Coombs brings it in. Beautiful placement of the ball by Allen, and we're inside the 10. First and goal now. Allen drops back. He's looking to throw. Looking for Thorne. Thorne's got it for his first touchdown of the season. There we go. And Maurice Jones-Drew almost did it again right here, but luckily we make the tackle. And then it ends up being second in inches. Taylor, he's going to get that easily first down. Jacksonville. Left witch looking to throw, moving in the pocket. Fires a strike to Hankton, I think is his last name. And he's inside the five with that. First and goal, left witch looking to throw. Looking short. Kyle Brady brings it in, but he's not in the end zone. He's short. So second and goal, left witch drops back, looking right side. And that's picked off by Lee. And Lee, I think that's the fastest guy on the team. And somehow Fred Taylor has the angle on him. I'm going to tell you, hey, in real life, Lee was gone. Straight up. Lee was gone if that was real life. But, hey, I don't know. This, I guess because it's, it's a pro guy. Fred Taylor's an NFL player. He walks him down. I'm surprised, though. But I do know that peak Fred Taylor could run. I do know that. Third down, Allen. Looking for Palmer. And, yeah, I didn't think Palmer was going to bring that in. No offense. I wasn't expecting him to make the catch. It was just somebody that we took the chance with. And Carey's going to get a pick. Carey with a pick. There we go. That's what's up. Our defense is showing out. Right here, Thorn wide open. He splits the cover two, and we missed the throw with Allen. So we run the same play. I'm like, maybe we can get him again. We ran no huddle. Same thing. Splits the defense, and Allen misses the throw again. That is crazy. I would expect Allen to make that throw. I don't know what the heck's going on. Well, anyway, we try to run for it. Third down, Allen running, and he's going to be Brought down from behind before he can get to the first down marker. It brings up fourth down. But Skirk can he's going to come in. Ah, can't talk. He kicks the field goal. The kick is up and good. Yeah. So first down, that's a couple yards. Second down, Fred Taylor. He's going to get maybe a yard or two. Third down and seven coming up. Play action. Byron left, which looking. He's going to do a 180 and throw it deep. And that's probably why it was underthrown. He tried to do a 180. Stop trying to make Patrick Mahomes throws Byron left, which... Second down and two. After that solid run by Lundy. Allen looking. He's going to find Thorne. Thorne spins upfield. He's into Jaguars territory with that catch and run. First down now. Hand it off to West. And West is stuff again. 
Defensive lineman beating his man and making a play. Allen under pressure. He gets it away. Palmer brings that one in. Now, that one I was surprised he caught, but hey, I'll take it as a couple yards. Third and seven. Allen looking to throw, rolling to his left. He's going to take off with it. He's got the first down of more. He's inside the 30 out around the 27 26 yard line. First down coming up. Allen looking to throw, rolling to his left once again. And he's going to end up throwing this one away. No one was open. He was about to get hit. He still ended up getting hit anyway, but you, yeah, he just threw it away. Right here, West, he's going to actually gain yards on that play somehow, some way. Third down now. They send a blitz. Allen gets it away quick. I come back to the ball, make the catch, and that's going to be still fourth and short. So, Skirt Kanich is going to kick another field goal, and that's going to give us a 16-point lead. We just need the points before foolery and goofy stuff happens and the Jaguars end up coming back so we just got to be prepared just in case we need a big enough cushion and right here Reggie Williams puts a nice juke move on broad after he knocks Kaplan off of him and he's got a touchdown and then they go for two to cut it to eight Fred Taylor he's gonna bounce it on that one and Fred Taylor's in so now the Jaguars are down by eight one possession game West he loses yards there not good second down and 12 Allen looking to throw trying to see if we get a curl route open but it's not so Allen's gonna take off with it tries to spin on the safety not gonna work third down coming up Allen drops back they send a big blitz we throw it quick Thorne makes the catch it was off target great catch by Thorne and that's going to be a first down at the two minute warning or right after the two minute warning I should say and the Jaguars burn their first time out right here they burn their second so now we head to West on the counter play. Finally, we get one that works. He's got the first down. And the Jaguars only have one timeout left, so this will probably do it. Yes, it will, because they call timeout here, and then we can just run the clock from there, and that's what we did. And we're going to get another big divisional win, 30-22 to 22 over the Jacksonville Jaguars. That is what's up. I was expecting the Colts and the Jaguars to be some tough cookies. We've beat them both so far. But once again, I cannot get too cocky because the last time I underestimated a team, the Dolphins beat us. And I should underestimate none of these teams because we are inferior to all these NFL teams overall-wise. By overall standards, I think we can take a lot of these teams. But, you know, by these overall standards in this Madden game, the odds are not in our favor. But, hey, we have the Titans next week, so another divisional game. Very important game. But we're going to be ready to go. They got, uh, I think, Kerry Collins is their starting quarterback. Yeah, I don't think Vince Young is starting. And it would be a rookie Vince Young. But either way, Vince Young can run. That's the one concern. But you know what? We're going to be ready to go. The Jaguars, we will see them again in Jacksonville. We're going to have to try to beat them again. Same with the Colts. we got to beat them when the Colts come here to play us. So, hey, it's a good season. We're sitting at 3-3. Three and three. Cannot complain about sitting at 3-3 three and three atop the division. That is exceeding expectations because I didn't think we were going to win the division. So, let's keep it up. Let's keep it going. See if we can get a win against the Titans. I'm out.